Before I was out, I, I, um, I remember being really um, afraid of speaking up about things in the world. I, I don't think I really had a sense of what I was afraid of exactly. I don't even think I really knew anything about my identity or who I was. I just knew that I was afraid to assert myself as a person in the world in general. I was really passive. Um, I was very afraid of conflict in any way, even the smallest conflict. And uh, I, I couldn't really figure it out. And I, um, I was harassed a lot, I think, in part because I, I, well, I, I just never stood up for myself. And like a lot of young people, I grew up in a community where I was told it was definitely not okay to be a lesbian. And for years, I had to listen to homophobic comments around me. But the beauty of things is that once I was a little older, I could make choices in my life. And I was able to choose the city I was living in, choose who my friends were. I could choose who got to stay in my life and who didn't get to stay in my life. And things got better so quickly. I didn't come out until I was uh, out of college. Most of my friends during college were gay men, so I got to hang out at the bars and check out the girls without actually having to be out, which was nice for me. Um, but it did feel very uncomfortable then going back onto campus and not being able to be who I was um, when I was around all of the uh, the other folks in my life. So, um, and when I finally met my the person who is currently my wife, Nancy, um, I decided that I was done hiding and uh, slammed open that closet door and never went back. But it took actually finding that person that I knew I'd be able to spend the rest of my life with in order to have the, um, the confidence to come out and be who I really was. Was I had a student that came to me and they would just come and have conversations with me and I wondered what we were really talking about. I felt particularly close to this person because I watched them go through the process of being completely closeted to completely out. Part of their challenge was having to also go through um, religious, uh, religious identity issues and, and having extra layers of people forcing them to be in the closet. And I cannot tell you as, as a friend and an ally to the person how liberating it was for both of us, uh, for the person to be able to come to to, to come to this realization of this is who I am, there's nothing wrong with me, people love me, I'm okay with shedding the, the people around me who are superfluous to those who I'm looking to love me. And they are a completely different person now. It almost, it almost brings tears to my eyes to just see how they came back to life. My, my four sisters are my dad's children, so they're my half siblings. And when I came out um, to my dad, he, they were all in, in high school or younger, and so they weren't allowed to talk to me either. So uh, he cut off all contact that I had with my sisters. And um, one by one, my stepmother would uh, like give them permission to secretly write me letters. So I started to get letters from them. Um, and my, I'll never forget when my little sister Sally, she was like 11 at the time, and she wrote, she said, my mom told me that you're gay, and she told me what gay means, and I don't care because I love you and you're my sister know that there's a whole support system of people around you and sometimes we don't even know who our community members are who our family is but they're everywhere and and the whole the whole point of this is to know that it gets better many many people for whatever identity we want to say have gone through some experience of being bullied of feeling um, othered in some kind of way maybe you were the geek maybe you weren't the cheerleader maybe you weren't the prom king but we all share that experience of knowing what it was like to be powerless and so we have an opportunity, a gift that we can give to other people to let them know that we care about them. And a big part of my job is helping people to do their best work. We are in the business of, of growing people uh, and helping people understand what they're capable of, whether it be our faculty or staff uh, or our students. And a big part of that is making sure that we have an environment where we're taking advantage of all of the talents that people have. And in order for that to happen, people have to be their whole selves. That's our commitment to our community, uh, to our students, to our faculty and staff, our commitment to each other.
Now I'm very happy working at Columbus State. I feel that I work in a very welcoming and open environment. I very consider myself very lucky with my supervisor and my colleagues at work. I can be completely open about who I am. So for those of you who are going through bad periods, bullying or something like that, it doesn't go on forever. It really does get better. Um, find help. Um, there are a lot of resources out there. Um, there are local organizations, there are national organizations, there's the Trevor Project. Contact somebody immediately. Do not go through it by yourself. There's no reason that you should ever have to. Um, we're all very special people. Remember that. Um, you may not feel special while you're going through it and you're depressed and possibly contemplating suicide, but you are. We want you to stay around. Love you. It's not what anybody else thinks. You love you first. Love you, be proud of who you are, and know that uh, bigger and better things are yet to come. I'm proud to count myself as an ally of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgendered people here at the college, especially students. And I think what I want most to communicate to our students here at Columbus State is that I'm glad you're here. We need you, we need your talents, and I want you to be successful. So please reach out to those around you, to me in this office. We want you to be successful, to get your education, and please know that you have the world ahead of you, you have accomplishments ahead of you, and it's very important that you become a leader, that you become who you want to be, and we stand here by your side to support you. That even if you're young and you're feeling like it will never change and things can never get better, they do, and you can change things. You can be part of the solution, not just for yourself, but for other people who are in your same situation right now and for other people who will come after you. And we need you and we need your help and we need your support for things to get better. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. Help us make it better. You're not alone. We need you to make it better. We're committed to making it better.